Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm just going to call this video Griffo Race TV. This is the legendary Sega Race TV on the Logitech G29 wheel of pedals with the views. You can get in the cockpit here and proper race, but we're not because I always find these kind of games a little bit better when you've got the car in front. This game needs no introduction, it's an arcade legend made by the legend Suzuki, last arcade racing game he made and still plays amazing. The feeling of speed when you hit the boost button in this game is just insane. This is the Logitech G29. I programmed the boost button here to the little shifter, which would be the shift up in any other game on the G29. And the game is just amazing to play. It just looks great. This is playing in 4K on my system. And it's been a long time coming. Guys, if you've got any questions about this game, setup, etc., just give me a shout. I've got a load of videos on my channel, but I do try my best to um, address different questions and stuff. As long as the questions are sensible, obviously. But yeah, this game just, it just is so much fun to play. It's what arcade games should be, and why Sega don't make more games like this is beyond me. It's not all about amazing graphics really, is it guys, you know? Look at this. I mean, it's so quick. So that, you know, like I say, you know, you can change the view in this game and get that kind of first player perspective. But I prefer this. I see the nice little car as well. It's almost cartoony graphics, isn't it? Whoa, feel that. I mean, does it look as fast as I'm feeling it on the screen? It's just insanely good. And the good thing about this game, it's an arcade game, but look, you can actually get a rear view, mirror view, which, to be honest with you, you don't get in a lot of arcade games. I, I can't think of many. There we go, first place, Sunshine Coast. For me, this is the best level on the game. It's just so nice, isn't it? It's a proper Sega Sunshine outrunny feel to it. Shall we try the next stage? I think we will. I think it's Ice World, yeah. So let's have a little crack at this one. We might do another couple. Jake's World's another good course on this. I'm not that good at these games because I don't play them very often, but these are like pick up and play. You know, you put a pound in the arcade and you know, you're know you racing away and you're getting in the cockpit here and you're doing all this. You get a bit of the, the whole boost, feel that, feel the boost in that. So uh, yeah, let's have a crack at this level, see how we get on. In my memory of this, the last time I played this level was in the arcade. There's a lot of uh, AI cars that try and put you off to try and get you to put some more money in. So uh, getting through to the next stage, the third level is always a bit of a challenge. We use the boost and try and lose some of this pack here because they are a bit intense. But yeah, guys, comments below. Share the video if you want. New subscribers, hi, welcome to the channel. Channel's been going about three or four years now and uh, the subscribers are building daily, the content's building, I've got my new studio, which is great. Uh, and don't make as many videos as I'd like to, just due to other work commitments, really. Uh, I'm a voiceover and I'm also a radio presenter as well, so uh, time is limited, and the new dad as well, guys. So uh, I'll show my son, Oliver, this in a few years. He's uh, actually four weeks old. So that's uh, kind of one of the uh, excuses and reasons I haven't done a video recently because uh, time's been spent elsewhere, more importantly. But uh, it's great to get back on the channel. I've been meaning to make this video for such a long time. So uh,
one's always going to do me. Try and get a bit of that. Right, hopefully we'll get a qualification and yay, we did. I think we got a first actually, yeah, two firsts. Woo! Yeah, so newborn, so sleepless nights as you'd expect, but the studio's great. This is out of the house. Jake's world. We'll do this one, guys, and then we'll kind of wrap it up. We might have just a little look around the rest of the game. But this is it then, Sega Race TV. It's great to play. It's one of my favorite arcade games of all time, this, in fairness. It just really feels good to play. Let's get a bit of a boost, get around these people. Boost charge, let's have a bit of that. And a bit of that. Boom. Oh no. Here he goes. See all these AI cars now. This is supposed to be first level Jake's world. You almost want to go down the shortcut, but if you do, you get battered back onto the track. That wasn't wise, was it, using the boost there, but hey ho. Come on, let's go. Second position, am I? See all of these? Woo! Here they come. These are the trucks, these are the guys that get in the way. Generally, if you stay kind of yeah, there we go. Down the middle here, and then boost it through the middle. You're technically okay. Out of the way, guys. Come on. Play ball. I want to get three firsts. Do you not know I'm a man on a mission? <laughs> Come on. Here we go. I think we're doing all right. Did you know, get battered by all of those claws that comes down. See him coming down. It is one of the very few games, isn't it, that has the rear view mirror. The Limbra machine was just so good, wasn't it? So powerful for its time. Uh, no, no. Let's get a boost on. Come on, let's catch up with the pack. Come on. Come on. Need another boost. It's going to shove me off. Come on. No, 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 no. Bad move, bad move, bad move. No! Come on, fly through the air, let's have this. Woo, come on. Give me another boost, give me another boost, give me another boost. Fourth, first, first and fourth. Oh, heart pounding. What a game. Sega Race TV. No, we're not gonna play that one again. Thanks for checking out the channel guys. Comments below, what a game.